Hey guys, it's me Rahul and it feels good to be back. I will try to upload every week but I cannot promise. So today we will be checking out some unique and awesome launches and lost screen apps. You might think I switch between launches and lost screen apps a lot but I don't. I have been using Nova Launcher for a year now. The reason for that is first of all Nova Launcher is really good and second I don't really care about any fancy launchers or anything like that. I like things simple. With that being said, let's check out some of my favorite launches and lost screen apps for Android. Kicking things off with my new favorite launcher that I might switch to pretty soon. The app is called ADW Launcher 2. I'm not gonna talk too much about the history of this app, but all I'm gonna say is it was the best. It has most of the new awesome features and it is actually a complete package with a ton of customization features that you can mess with to create a unique look. So yeah, I highly recommend this app. If you are using Nova Launcher now, give this one a try. I highly recommend it. Lock screen apps are always something that I was really interested in testing out. But the problem is most of them actually don't work great with launches. My favorite lock screen app is AC Display. It is a very popular app. It is mainly for devices which have OLED display. What essentially this app does is it shows you this very minimal and clean lock screen. That is the main reason why I like this app so much. So if you use it on a device which has OLED panel, then this app will only light up few pixels to show notifications and time and things like that. That is pretty cool. Go check it out. Okay, the next app on the list is a launcher and it is a very popular one on the Play Store. It is called Nova Launcher. So if you somehow don't know about Nova Launcher, it is the most used launcher of all time because it is so good. Nova Launcher works with a lot of modes for customizing your home screen. It has a ton of useful features. You can't really go wrong with this launcher. It, it is almost the perfect launcher for Android. Next lock screen is next lock screen. That was that was really bad. So the lock screen that I'm going to be showing you guys is called Next. It is made by Microsoft. It is actually a fairly good lock screen app. So one of the things that are unique about this launcher is that it works with fingerprint unlocks and also has this control center like thing at the bottom which is actually really cool and also has a Bing integration as well. So the next one is actually the first ever launcher that I have tried when I got my first Android phone. It is Bus Launcher. I think people forgot about this launcher so what makes it sort of distinct from other launchers is that you can apply themes. I really miss themes. Back in the day it was all about the home screen themes. Go check it out. It is an awesome launcher. I really love it. Echo notification lock screen is a very simple one and it looks really nice too. One of the main features of this lock screen is that it sorts your notifications based on the priority which is super helpful and it will also show the full content of a text message right on the lock screen. I don't know whether that is a good thing or not. It depends on the user. Anyway, it is definitely a great application. Action Launcher 3 is one of the popular launches for Android and it is for those who don't like Nova for some reason but want all the features of it. Action Launcher basically has all the features that Nova Launcher has. It can set icon pack themes, widgets and much more. So in Action Launcher, the app drawer is on to the left section of the home screen. I wasn't a great fan of this type of app drawer but I can understand why people prefer this over the traditional app drawer. With this, you can open, a, open any app by using one hand. Picture screen lock screen is another app from Microsoft. It seems like Microsoft is the only company which makes lock screen apps for Android. Anyway, it is again a Bing integrated lock screen because why not Microsoft have to make Bing big and pushing it to all Android phones is the best way to do it. This launcher is a very simple one. On the lock screen, you will get a couple of information from the internet like score scoreboards and news etc. along with notifications. It is a great lock screen for those of you who, who follow news and stuff like that. Yeah, check it out if you are into news. So I wanted to include a new launcher on this list and I chose OF Launcher. It is a beautiful launcher, it is smooth and organized and I really really like it. If you swipe to the right, you will get this sort of menu and in, in which you can select a category which will change the wallpaper as well as the app icons on your home screen. It is a pretty neat feature. I like it so much. Last but certainly not least app on the list is Jester Lock Screen. A lot of my friends actually use this app but I haven't tried it yet. So it is basically a lock screen app. You can set actual passcodes with gestures. It doesn't actually show any notifications on the lock screen but the main feature of this lock screen app is that you can set gestures, gesture logs. 
yeah that is basically it and that's pretty much it guys hope you guys liked this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up and i will talk to you guys in my next video goodbye Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin